Okay, I've been having problems with my PTO. Uh, not turning on at all, not switching over. Tested the switch, switch is fine. So figured it's the PTO solenoid valve. And I know it is because I've already had it apart. Been waiting for the part, finally came. So now I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, easiest access to get to the PTO solenoid valve is taking off the left tire. So if you come down here, you're gonna see the valve is right here. Let's see if I can get a little better light. It's right behind here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and then get you a better look at the PTO solenoid valve right behind there. Okay, this gives you a little better uh, look. The PTO solenoid valve is right here. Get your electrical off the back, so we'll have to unhook that. And then you also got another valve right here, which you're gonna have to take off to get access in from the side. This is just a bracket holding the electrical wiring in place. Just easier to remove the bracket. Gives you access to unplug that switch also. And now just an opening wrench. Crack that loose. And this is a slow one, so I'm not gonna bore you with getting this all the way off. Right back. Okay, so that's loosened up. Go ahead and finish. Getting that out of there. Set that off to the side and keep it clean. For this next part, we're gonna come around to the back. The two bolts that hold the PTO solenoid valve inside are hex. Uh, so what I did is I went and just bought a kit of hex bits look a little bit like this go into your socket and this is a three millimeter which fits that perfect okay so here's looking from the back of the tractor in and you can see the pto solenoid valve here and you can you can see those two hex nuts that we're going to go ahead and undo They're not in there real tight. And now for the other side, just gotta crack it loose. See if you can focus. It's a pretty small three millimeter size. Okay, with both of those bolts off, just got to wiggle a little bit on the solenoid and go ahead and pop it out. You notice it does leak there just a little bit, so I'll get a rag for that. Here's a look at it uh, outside of the the tractor. So. PTO solenoid. Uh, this here is the PTO MBR switch. So, uh, so choosing where you're going to run PTO, so mid or for like the mower deck, um, or then you'd have uh, both or just the rear. So MBR. Uh, that's what we had to take to get out of the way. Now, lesson learned: don't drop your PTO solenoid valve after you take it out. This is why I'm having to replace it. Dropped it and 
chipped a, a piece off of it there. So uh, no good. So I'm waiting for the new part. Uh, now probably could have just taken this out, cleaned it up, uh, knocked on it a few times and it would have worked. Uh, but I had to go ahead and break it. Okay, here's the new PTO solenoid straight from John Deere. So we'll go ahead and stick that in. Okay, here we go. Sticking that new PTO solenoid back in. Trying to keep it clean while I do so. mentioned with that PTO solenoid uh, went ahead and made sure that the uh, if you can see it there with the electrical connection the disconnect faces up okay so PTO, PTO solenoid right right through there right right here you're just gonna move this wire harness over insert the hex bolt in there and just lightly get it started make sure we don't miss thread there and then just hand tight until we get both sides in and just snug it up here a little bit both sides. We're back over on the wheel side, so we're going to reinstall the MBR switch, solenoid switch. Get a little zoom in here. There we go. What I found helpful, just make sure that's facing straight up the wire harness. And just get it hand tight all the way down. You can finish tightening it with an open end wrench. Oh. And then go ahead and make the electrical connections on each of these solenoids and then I'm going to go ahead and put this bracket back in. Okay, electrical for the PTO solenoid and then for the MBR switch. Tuck that back up in there and then we're going to go ahead and Reinstall the bolt for that bracket. Go ahead and reinstall the bracket for the uh, I don't know, just the three point the hitch. I don't know exactly what it's called. wire harness on the back uh, I did clip a zip tie off of there I guess it just keeps everything in one place so putting a zip tie back on and just securing it
I'm going to go ahead and stick the wheel back on. 